The scale of what we're going to do is one which is going to re-green our Earth. We'll be able to see the ecosystems that we've restored from space. We need to use technology to scale up our restoration efforts. And the scale we're talking about is tens of billions of trees every year. It's a new step change in the way that we're thinking about global restoration. As an engineer, we can use all our innovation and all our ideas to leave this world in a better place than how we found it. The challenge that we're tackling is a complex one and working with a team of passionate engineers, plant scientists, drone operators, we came up with this idea to use automation and digital intelligence to plant billions of trees. We, as humans, invented the chainsaw. And yet, we didn't invent the equal technology to then restore and plant that tree as quickly as we could chop it down. We need that same level of innovation and dedication on the solution of restoring our ecosystems. By combining digital intelligence with automation, we're able to combine the right species at the right location. And when we upload that into the drone, it just goes out, follows that path, and plants those trees where they're needed. What we do is put the seed into this pod that's biodegradable. It has all the nutrients it needs so that when it gets shot into the ground, it has a fighting chance to grow into a big, strong, healthy tree that we can climb in 20 years' time. If we don't restore our ecosystems, we're losing out on productive soil and the clean air and the cleaning of the water and the pulling down of carbon. We're losing this opportunity, which we have right in front of us. The scale of land degradation today has gone too far. We can no longer just rely on traditional methods to restore the land. We have to increase the rate. And we have a target of planting 500 billion trees. There's a saying that goes that the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, and the second best time is today. We have this opportunity now and we need to act today.